It's been about 15 years since I ever touched watercolor paints. Oh God, why, why are you exploding? I'm gonna have to like rearrange my brain to understand and figure it all out again. So yeah, it's gonna be a hot mess. I can't wait. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing a really cool watercolor set from Paul Rubens. No, not that guy. If you have been anywhere on the TikToks, on the reels, on short form YouTube short, things. You have probably seen Paul Rubens watercolor paints. Paul Rubens team reached out to me to give me a free product in exchange for me making a video about it. So I'm not entirely sponsored by them, but it, mm. I just wanted to let you know. So let's open this puppy up and see what it looks like. We got the little brochure. Tells you different terminologies for the watercolors. Multicolor stacking, fine grinding, no graininess. And Pigments are made color of toner formats. raw materials with strong weather resistance. Let's just get going. <laughs> Pretty. So we have here 24 colors. This, this part. Adorable. They're so small. Five milliliters in a tube. Let me just go grab my watercolor paper. We're gonna ignore those stains. Got my water. I'm just gonna use this, whatever this is. We'll just start with the Naples yellow. Hi. Hi, you wanna focus here? Oh, hi. She's doing something. Right off the bat, I'm seeing it's very pigmented. Obviously, I have a lot to learn when it comes to watercolors. Just by looking at how vibrant those colors are, it's gonna be beautiful. I just hope I can do justice to these. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ooh, look at that, Jesus. I'm just geeking out, sorry. So once I finished swatching and quite frankly, just drooling over these watercolors, I labeled each color and then compared them to each of the tubes that they came from. And they were all pretty close, except for Thalo Blue. I don't know what his deal was. And after practicing some very satisfying color blending, look at that, oh my gosh. It was time to move on to the big leagues and paint an actual portrait. All right, so y'all know from my channel that I'm an acrylic artist and using acrylics is way, way different than watercolors. And what I'm used to is building layers from the darkest values to lighter values. With watercolors, it's the exact opposite. I started this painting with the lightest color values of yellows and oranges and slowly built it up with more blues and greens. I kind of underestimated how much watercolors like to bleed. Like in this painting, she straight up looked like she had a nosebleed because I was trying to put darker areas in her nostrils and the paint was literally seeping out all over the place. But what really saved my butt here was tissue paper. If I made a mistake, I just take a little bit of a tissue, dab off the color and it would almost come completely off. The fact that I can go back in and kind of like reactivate the colors and thin it out, that changes everything. And yeah, let's just address the topic of this painting. <laughs> it is a lady with melted ice cream dripping on top of her head in all its drippy droppy glory. Ah, uh, what an inspired concept. I just could not get ice cream off the brain. And uh, yeah, there you have it. This is, this is the inspiration. This is where my muse spoke to me. I think I kind of like that. I think I'm gonna try to do more food incorporations into paintings because it's pretty freaking weird. I kind of like it. Then just because I can't help myself and I'm not the best at this, I decided to go back to my titanium acrylic paint to add the highlights to really make those high areas pop even more. Yeah, so coming from someone who hasn't touched watercolors in literally in a decade and a half, it was hard. I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. Watercolors, I had to be restrained. I totally overworked a bunch of areas where I should have just let it alone. And maybe that just speaks to me having to learn to be more laid back about layering. <laughs> but in good news, I think I finally got the hang of it, especially with the ice cream head and parts of the lip. I left some areas with very little paint layers on it, which helped give the illusion of highlights. And then I decided to add that red to the parts of the ice cream, and it just looked like she was bleeding from her head. So I just took a little bit more water, spread that paint around to make it look less murdery. So what do I think about these watercolors from Paul Rubens? I think it's pretty good. I don't really have much experience with watercolors otherwise. I've used pretty trash watercolors in the past. I had a lot of fun with blending, shadows, values. So yeah, from an acrylic artist trying something new, I definitely am glad I did it would definitely make again. So if you're down to try these watercolors, be sure to check out my affiliate link in the description below. And if you're really enjoying this painting process, you can click on this playlist right over here.